Tower City tonight, there are new developments on the ExxonMobil lockout. A petition to decertify the United Steelworkers Union is on the table. Yeah, it's been signed by 30% of the local union members, and that's enough to force a vote. 12 News reporter Amelia White is live tonight breaking down what all this means. Jordan Dage, local USW rep Brian Gross tells me this petition only represents a small percentage of union employees. He says it adds a burden to the negotiation process. 12 News is still working to confirm who started the petition, but Gross says the person is not a union member. He says members who signed the petition feel like the union isn't doing enough negotiating with ExxonMobil. Gross worries this decertification could be a distraction as they work to reach a new deal with ExxonMobil. He's confident a majority of the employees will stand by the union. If, even if they got the 30 percent uh, signatures on the petition, uh, it's still the minority of the group. You know, the majority of the group has, has stood by the local, stood by the committee, and said, you know, we're, we're, we don't want to vote on this because it's not, it's not up to standard. It may be months before a vote even happens. Local attorney David Starness also does not expect the decertification to pass. Uh, I have never seen that uh, actually be successful here locally, um, but you know, there's a first time for everything, so we'll just have to wait and see. Here's how we got here. At least 30% of union members must sign a card or a petition asking the National Labor Relations Board to conduct an election. ExxonMobil has 650 members, so we're looking at 195 signatures. From there, the, NR the NLRB will decide if a decertification election can move forward. If the majority says no, the union will become decertified and employees would be able to return to work without a contract. The start is fears a lot of the workers may maybe may not be rehired after a vote. I'm live in Beaumont, Amelia White, 12 News. All right, Amelia, we see those workers out there still locked out behind you tonight. Uh, late today, we heard from ExxonMobil. The company says it, quote, respects employee choice and believes in the value of a direct relationship between the company and employees without a third party union. So it's pretty clear where they stand. You can head to 12newsnow.com or our app for a more detailed look at how this process again could play out over the next few months.